got faith in the bank. When you start trying to write songs and play music that is about some of, some, of the, some of the harder content in terms of kind of what Jesus commanded us to do in terms of loving our neighbors, loving our enemies. You know, these are, that's a hard word. Um, and you're not always going to find that that sells you a lot of records. You're not always going to find that that makes you a lot of friends. And so I really like Luke 6.26, where Jesus said, Woe to you when all men think good of you. Um, that basically, uh, you know, a, a, that is to say, like a wise man once told me that if you're telling the truth to people, and they love you for it, then you're probably not telling the truth to people. Um, that uh, following Jesus is not a popularity contest. It's not always about being efficient or successful. It's about being faithful. Um, and sometimes that looks like one thing and sometimes it looks like another. But uh, I take a lot of comfort in the fact that even Jesus said, listen, you know, the point is not that all men would really love you and that you'd be super popular. I mean, um, if anything, it's probably going to be the opposite of that. You know, the only thing he really promised us is that he would never leave us or forsake us, but that we would suffer. Um, and we're just not accustomed to suffering anymore in this country and uh, in our churches. And uh, when we have to do very much of it, we, like good consumers, we go elsewhere where we don't have to suffer so much. And uh, I think that's the wrong response. I think we need to stay and we need to suffer and we need to share in the sufferings of Jesus and await for him to return. And he promises us all those things.